Hey everyone, Michael Zafiroff here. Um, in a previous video, I have created a 3D um, quadcopter frame um, in Fusion 360. And this file is downloadable uh, from my Autodesk gallery. And uh, as you can see, this flexes a lot. So I made different versions, different sizes. You can see a few of them. So finally, I've decided that this is the strongest. Um, this is a six millimeter a thick arm and when it, when you mount the motor it's going to be four millimeters so you can it's like a stair so let's talk about the motors i'm going to be using the multi-star elite 2204 2300 kv motors um do note that they don't come with uh motor mounting screws and you also have to assemble the prop uh mount by yourself so this is like a unassembled and this is the assembled version so for the ESCs, I'm going to be using the Alfro 20 amp ESCs. I like them because they have a beck inside, so I don't have to solder 5 volts for my PDB. And yeah, I'm going to be using polycarbonate uh, 5045 bull nose tri blades I've been using for a long time, and I like them. Um, since I'm using a Tyrannus, I chose the X4R SB. And f for the flight controller, I'm going to be using the SPF3 Evo. I'm also going to be using the Matek power distribution board, which has a 5 volt and a 12 volt back in case I need to add something cool to it. So since this is an FPV quadcopter, you want FPV. This is a Quantum Elite uh, 600 milliwatt VTX. It has a microphone built in and it comes with these antennas. And everybody knows that these antennas don't really work well, so I'm going to, use a, I'm going to be using a Spironet antenna. Uh, for the camera, I'm going to be using a micro 600 TV line camera. This is very small, and this is FPV. So an OSD is pretty important for me. So this is a micro minimum OSD. I know people say that it's very hard to program, it's hard to wire, it's annoying, lots of things can go wrong, but when you know how to do it, it'll be easy. So do know that you also need an FTDI adapter to program the micro minimum OSD. So this is the this is this these are the parts that I need to build a quad and for sp like accessories you want some standoffs to mount your PDB and your flight controller you want some electrical tape you want some wire strippers um you need some allen keys as well and I do suggest to have a multimeter to check for short circuits because you don't want to short your whole quad and I'm gonna also be using some heat shrink and uh, most important things are the soldering iron and a heat gun so you can shrink the heat shrink so these are the parts let's start building okay so let's start building the frame now so first of all these are interlocking so like this
one in the best shape. But it's still gonna work. Great. So, this concludes the build of this 3D printed quadcopter. Okay, so let's go to the software part. Bye bye.